Okay, so what I'm going to do to start with in, in this video is I'm going to create um, an in-place mask. I'm going to go to the level one to do that. So on level one, right, you can see I've got a section here. I'm going to drag this section out, and I put that section in there for you all as well. And we're going to use that section in a little bit, but let's go ahead and create this in-place mass. All right, so I can go to 3D, and I can go to massing in sight, and then I can say in-place mass, right? And so it enables it, so I can say close, right? And I'm going to call this P-A-R-A-M-E-T-R-I, parametric roof, right? Parametric roof is what I'm going to call it. So now I'm in my... Um, in place mass and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some reference planes up first but I'm going to go to level one to do that so as I go to level one I'm going to put in my reference plane so you see reference plane becomes active now remember I can't draw them in 3d you see how that disappears you need to remember that so I'm going to go to reference plane one and I'm going to go over here right on the edge of my building and I'm going to drag this one out okay and then I'm going to drag this one out a little more. And I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to name this number one. Okay? And then, here at the edge, I'm going to put on the other side another reference plane. You know, I'll let it snap out here. And as per usual, right, I'm going to probably name this one number two. All right? And then I'm going to come out here. Um, I don't remember exactly how much distance is in between these two. This one really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to check it, though. So there is uh, 50 feet there. And then I'm going to put my third reference plane here. And I'm going to come and go about maybe, I don't know, 35 feet six in, off the end. Okay. All right. Let me pause the video. Okay, so as you can see, I've got one reference plane I named number one on the end of the building. Remember, I'm in the in-place mass feature. Then second, I've got one right here, number two on the other side of the building. And then the last one I put about 35 feet, and I'm going to name that one number three. And that one's on the end of the building, okay? All right, so let's uh, now that we've got these three reference planes in, let's go to our section view, and we can just double-click on it. And now that we're in our section view, we can say show, and we want to make a reference plane visible. So let's go ahead and pick reference plane number one, right? And now there's our reference plane, right? Now off the edge of this building, we're going to, what I'm going to do is come in here, and now I'm going to draw uh, a reference line, right? And when I draw a reference line, remember, I have to say set, and that reference plane is set already. And so I'm going to just draw an arc. I'm going to start with an arc, right? I'm going to click here. Boarding. Okay, so I'm going to draw this arc, this reference line, not model line, but reference arc. And I'm going to draw it. I'm going to start it right here on the end, right? And I'm going to grab this right here, right on this end. And I'm going to pull it out maybe uh, maybe 50 feet, right? And now I've got this arc, and I'm going to, even though I can't see it, you see how I can just type in the numbers and say uh, 50 degrees, and there's my first arc, right? There's my very first one. Now I want to set my reference plane, and I'm going to go to reference plane 2, and say OK. And I'm going to draw the very same arc. I'm going to say reference line arc. And I'm going to go to the same exact place, this corner here, to this very end. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to let it snap right on that second one. All right? And now I'm going to do a third one. I'm going to set my reference plane to number three, and remember, these are the reference planes within my what? Within my in-place mass, there's number three. I'm gonna say okay, and this time I'm gonna go up, click on reference line again, and this time I'm gonna draw an arc, and I'm gonna start on this end of the building, 
but then I am going to go, and I'm going to just kind of draw at this angle, maybe 27 degrees, uh, let's say 170 here. Eh, you know, it really doesn't matter. And then that third one, I'm just going to try and draw up at an angle like this. Nothing too special, right? And we'll just click there. We can't see it right now, but we'll hit escape. And then I'll go to 3D. And now in 3D, you see I got this crazy circle, right? That's not going to work. So we've got to figure out how to get around that. So I'm going to delete that one, right? And I'm going to go back into my section. And I'm going to make sure my reference plane, again, is set to reference plane 3. And this time, let's... let's if, for a reference line, let's try, let's try an arc one more time and see if we can get that to work for us. Same place here. Or instead of an arc, let's try a spline. That might be better. A spline, let's see. Let's draw, let's draw a regular spline. I'll draw it one here. Second point somewhere out here, right? Over the column somewhere, maybe. And then the third point, somewhere out here, right? Escape, escape. Now let's see in 3D what we've got. Okay, so now we've got this, these three, these three reference lines. There's the first one, the second one, and then here's the third one, right? And if we wanted to mess with that third one some, we could, we could drop that point down or pull that point up a little bit. See, like I'm doing now. No big deal. It's still in that reference plane. We should be okay, right? Yes, we are still on that reference plane. All right, so that's good. So while we're here, now we can click one, hold down control, click two and three, and then hit create form to a solid form. And now we've got a solid form, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna save this video. I'll answer a few questions. Um, but before I do save it, the, the thing I want to do before I do save it, I'm going to just click on the form and I'm going to go to divide surface and I'm just going to let the surface be divided right now, kind of like we, we have been normally doing. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and say um, finish mass. Right. And it says it's only mesh geometry and we'll come back to that in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and save this and then we'll pick up in the next video.